This is Dror Moshe Kassoto. Well, Shalom Uvracha. This is a... This is a fantastic book. Its name is Sefer Hayashar. What does it mean, Sefer Hayashar? Sefer is a book. Hayashar is the straight. Now, it can be the honest. It can be the book of the honest, of the straight. It can be the honest book. It's, uh, it holds many... <coughs> many explanations, many meanings to the name of this book. There is an amazing story on where this book came out from, like where we got it from. And this is a very ancient book, very old book. And it came to us from the days that the holy city of Jerusalem been destroyed by the evil person, general named Titus. Venichnesu and entered all the commanders um, to, to rob the houses of Israel in Jerusalem. And one of his, um, one of his servants one of his um, um, religious leaders, Hagmon um, of Titus, his name was Sidrus. And that guy, Sidrus, went into Jerusalem and he saw a very nice house over there. And he took all the loot, everything he found over there. And when he wanted to go out from the house, he saw that one of the walls of the house was looked suspicious to him. It felt to him like there are diamonds over there in that, hidden in that wall. So he called his soldiers to break the wall and he found a barrel full with many, many books, Torah and prophets and all the, 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 the scripts of, of the Israeli nation, of the Jewish nation and also books from the kings of Israel, and also from different nations, kings, and many, many other books belongs to Am Yisrael. And the right books of Mishnah, the oral Torah, and many scrolls were over there in that barrel. And he found a lot of food and wine, and he also found an old person sitting and reading in those books, hiding behind that wall. So that Hagmon, that religious religion, man of religion, saw this sight and he was wondering and he asked that old man, why are you sitting here alone and there's no one with you? So that old person told him, I'm, it's already a few years long time that I know that Jerusalem is about to destroy. So I built that house and I made that second wall and I hold, I, I took all the books with me to read in them and I put myself in here with enough food and I said to myself maybe I'm gonna survive, maybe, maybe I'll be saved. So the Creator put that old person in, in like he gave grace upon him. And that relig man of religion, that religion, religious man saw him and took him out um, from that house with respect, with all his books. And they took, and he took him, exiled him, took him with their um, wagons to Sevilla. And the Hagmon saw that that old person was a very wise person. So he respected him and took him into his house and asked him to teach him all his wisdom. And they went out of the city of Sevilla and over there they kept all those holy books of Israel. And that house until today is built 
in Sevilla and they wrote many other books um, over there and so in very like in through many miracles the creator is is making to keep the wisdom of of his people revealed and saved for the world and in that book there are many many ancient stories of our true history and it's talking also about Bereshit, the beginning of how the Creator created the world. And there are many, many details here that are written that are not written in the Bible. And this is a very deep book and a very meaningful book. And I wanted to share a little bit about the, the righteous man, that his name was Hanoch. Hanoch was the son of Yered, and Yered was the son of Mehalal El. And Mehalal El was the son of Canaan. Now, Hanoch, he was serving Hashem. And he was a very righteous man. He really took the, 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 the work into his heart and he didn't want it to be like all the evil people around him and his spirit was glued to the wisdom of heaven in knowing him and understanding him and he knew the ways of of heaven so in his wisdom he realized that he should separate himself from the rest of the people and to hide himself from them for many, many days. And after those days and years, while he was serving in front of Hashem, and he was praying in front of Hashem in his own room, in his private, in his own house, in his private room, and suddenly he heard an angel calling him from heaven. And that angel told him, Chanoch, Chanoch, called him in his name twice. So Hanoch answered, Here I am, Hineni. So the angel told him, You need to stand up, go out from your house and from your place that you were hiding, you were hiding over there, and you need to be the king of the rest of the people, for you to teach them the way that they should walk in and the action that they should do to serve Hashem and to walk in His ways. So Hanoch stood up and immediately did what the angel commanded him, went out from his place, from that room, like Hashem told him, and went to the people and taught them the ways of Hashem. And he collected many of them in that time and was educating them to know the will of heaven. And he commanded them to tell everyone that if there is someone that wants to know the real ways of heaven and the good action that you should all do, you should come to Hanoch. And many, many people came to him in that time. And everyone that wanted to be a good and a better person came to Hanoch to listen to his words. And Hanoch was like a king of, on all human race. And it was the will of heaven, the will of Hashem. And everyone came to him and were bowing to him and listened to him and heard his words. And there was a spirit of God on Hanukh. And he taught all of his people the wisdom of God and his ways. Hundreds and thousands of people were coming every, like all the time to listen to Hanukh. And Hanoch was teaching them the wisdom and knowledge and the way of Hashem. And he put peace between of everyone. And there was peace in the wide land and all over the world in the days of Hanoch.
In the year that the first man, Adam, passed away, it was the time that Hanoch was already the king of the world on people for 243 years. He was already 243 years the king and then Adam passed away. Adam passed away after 970 years. So in that year, Hanoch put on his heart to separate himself from people again and to hide from them like he was before to serve Hashem. And he did it, but he didn't hide himself completely all the days. Just for three days he was hiding and after one, after three days he would come out and reveal himself to them one day. And in all those three days, he was hiding in his room, mean, closed himself in his own house, and he was praying and praising Hashem, his God. And in the day that he would go out to his people, he would show them and teach them the way they should serve Hashem. And everything that they would ask him, he would answer. And he did that for many, many years. After that, he felt that he needs to spend more time with Hashem, so he hid himself for six days. And he was revealing himself to his people only once in seven days, for one day. And after a while, he decided to hide himself more, and he would hide for a whole month, and only one day and every month he would come out to his people and talk. And it's like a, a desire to, to be close to Hashem. And he found himself that he was hiding almost complete year and only once a year he would go out and talk to his people. Until one day all of the people, all of the leaders that lived in that generation, everyone wanted to see his face and to hear his words and they couldn't. And they were very scared to, to, to tell him that they want to see him more. They were afraid because he was so holy. So they didn't know what to do. And they were consulting and like talking with each other to see what they should do when he will come out. And when he came out, everyone came to him together and he told them what he had to say and taught them wisdom and knowledge. And they were very, very scared. They were wondering how can it be that he was so wise. They couldn't speak and they were all bowing to him and they said, May the king will live, may the king will live. Yechi HaMelech, Yechi HaMelech. They were not able to ask from him anything because they admired him so much. One of the days he came out and told them, they asked me from heaven to climb up and I still don't know when I should go. Now I'm going to teach you all the wisdom before I'll walk away from you. And he did so, and he taught them wisdom and knowledge and educated them and rebuked them. And he gave them rules and trials and judgments and taught them exactly how to, to rule the land, how to live their lives. And he put peace between them and he taught them how to enjoy eternal life. And he was sitting with them for a few days, taught them all those things. In one of those days, while people were sitting around him and he was talking to them, Hanoch was talking to them, suddenly everyone looked and they saw a huge horse coming down from heaven. And that horse walked in the spirit, in the wind of earth. And they said to Hanoch what they saw. So Hanoch told them, that horse came for me. That's why it came down to the ground, to the land. Because it's the time in the day that I should walk away from you and I will not be seen to you anymore. And that horse came down in that time and stood up in front of Hanoch. And all the people that came to see Hanoch saw that horse. And Hanoch taught them more things and educated them some more. And he said, to all the people, if everyone else wants to hear words of heaven, the words of Hashem, 
you should come to Hanoch, you should come before I go. And every people on earth came to hear him in that day. And all the kings and the ministers and all the rich people, everyone, all the generals, everyone that lived in that generation, no one was hidden from him in that day. Everyone were in front of him. And Hanoch taught all human humans the wisdom and knowledge of Hashem and he commanded them a lot to serve Hashem and to walk in his ways all their lives and he put more peace between everyone after he finished after that he stood up and went up on that horse and ride that horse and walked away everyone so many people went after him Keshmona meot elef ish. 800,000 people walked after him. And they walked with him for one day. And in the second day, he turned to them and told them, Listen, go back to your tents. Don't go with me for, because you will die. And some of them went back. But some continue walking with him for six days. And Hanoch talking to them every day. Go back to your tents that you won't die. And they didn't want to go back and they kept on walking with him. In the sixth day, Hanoch told them again, Walk away to your tents from me because tomorrow I'm going to go to heaven and everyone that will stay with me will die. So more of them went in that time, in the sixth day, but there were still people that were connected to him and they refused to to let to to separate from him and they told him we will go with you till that place that you will walk to Hashem is our witness that only death will separate us from you they loved him so much and he saw that they put so much effort to walk with him and he couldn't save them he couldn't convince them so he went on his way continued and those people didn't came back. They kept on walking after Hanoch. Now all the kings that came back, they checked how many people left with Hanoch and they saw the exact number. And they counted the people that were missing, those ones that kept on walking with Hanoch. And in the eighth day, they sent soldiers, people, to pick up those, the number of people that stayed with Hanoch in that place that he went from to heaven. And they went, those messengers of the kings, to that place and they found all the land, all the ground full with snow in that place. And on top of the snow they saw huge boulders made out of like ice, of Nesheleg, stone snow stones and they said each to each other we must break the snow and to see maybe the people died maybe those ones that went with Hanoch they died under the snow and they did it and they moved away the snow and they found the exact number that were number of people that were with Hanoch they all died under the snow and they asked for Hanoch and they couldn't find him because he went up to heaven. All the days that Hanoch lived on earth were 365 years. It's the same number of days of the sun, the year then that we're counting, the year based on the circle of the sun is 365 days. So 365 years he lived. When uh, Hanoch went up to heaven, so it's written on him that the Creator gave him 70 of his names. 70 of the names that the Creator was used to be called in respected in, he gave them, he handed them to Hanoch. And Hanoch is one of those righteous people like Elijah the prophet and more. I think there were 
ten righteous people that went up to heaven without dying. They haven't died. The angel of death didn't took their soul. And Hanoch was the first one. And he gave him, the Creator gave him 70 of his names. And he became to be the angel Matat, the minister of the face of the Creator. And he is today a live angel in heaven, the first one by the side of the Creator, that he is the one that is appointed on many, many things that we cannot imagine and even like in our wildest dreams to understand his position and importance in heaven. And he is the minister of the face, that's how it's called, Sar Hapanim of heaven. And he is leading and ruling the creation for heaven's sake by the name of the Creator using the 70 names that have been given to him by our Father in Heaven to reveal godliness and the light of Heaven and that wisdom and knowledge that he all of his life was teaching to his people, to his beloved ones, human race and the people that he loved so much and care about them and did so much for his people in his lifetime so for that the Creator chose him to bring him up to heaven and to do his holy work also in the world to come. Thank you so much. Believe in your true potential and see how the Creator can, can take a person out of the box, out of his narrow mind, out of his constrictions and to bring him out to the light. Thank you and may the Creator bless us all as one. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.